is a Corsair H100i V2 good for cooling a Ryzen 9 3900X? Yes, that's what I'd ask you. And my response is, I, I, it depends. Do you already own the cooler? Do you already own the CPU? Are you running stock or overclocked? Are you a hot environment? Do you have a case limitation that limits you to that cooler? Do you hate tower coolers? Here's why. I would never buy a 240 millimeter liquid cooler for a Ryzen 9. Not that it won't do the job because it will. It will absolutely at stock speeds run it at 4.2 gigahertz all day long and be, be wonderful. But I wouldn't, especially not a Corsair H100. I love you. Hi, Corsair guy. The problem is Corsair's liquid coolers can be a little on the expensive side. I might buy the Cooler Master 240 millimeter liquid sure. cooler because that's on sale, assuming it's still available in stock on the Fantastic sale mm -hmm. for $55. The Corsair H100 IV2 is like 110. Oh. See the problem? I do. There's no bad products, there's bad prices. Mm. If the Corsair H100 IV2 was $55, I'd be screaming from the mountaintops, oh my God, this is a deal. You but would. it's not, it's 110. So it's like, well, crap. Here's the problem. You can buy a Noctua NHD15, which will cool better than a 240 millimeter liquid cooler for less money. But at $55, I think the Cooler Master 240 is an amazing value for the money. If I want to spend $50 on a cooler, honestly, I think liquid coolers for the most part are pretty much overrated. I think a Scythe Mugen 5 or any of the dual fan five or six heat pipe $50 tower coolers is ideal. And it almost doesn't matter which one you buy because it's really just fan choice colors, LEDs, and brand. Right. Um, frankly, a Hyper 212 Evo would do a great job on a Ryzen 9 3900X. It's not going to do as good a job as a Scythe Mugen or a Be Quiet or even a, a Noctua NH-U12S for $62 would do a better job. But it's obviously twice the price. Yes. If you want to go liquid cooling, go 280 millimeter. 280 millimeter is often only $20 more than a 240. On the Corsair, it's the H115i is the 280 versus the H100, which is the 240. A 280 millimeter liquid cooler is 36% larger. It's 36% more radiator surface area. The 140 millimeter fans yeah. move far more air with less noise. I know, I have both of used them. I had a 240 millimeter liquid cooler on my i7 8700K on the, my personal build, yes. but I had a 280 millimeter liquid cooler on my i7 8700K test bench. You did. The 280 cooled the i7 to five gigahertz all cores all day long in all testing, no problem. Cinebench A to 64, great. My 240, which by the way was a Corsair H100 IV2 specifically, yes did not. It would run at five gigahertz in limited situations. It did over temp in ADA 64. Yep. It was extremely hot. The fans had to spin up quite fast. Yep. The 280 made a legit, legit difference. If you're going liquid, go big or don't waste your time. End rant.